This bamboo spreads like crazy. And it's destroying my mower blades. Still, just keeps coming back. But it can't stand up to M18 power. Power! I said power! This is awkward. Time to rewire it. Milwaukee makes a patented snap lock, whatever, brush cutter for this, but it's $179. Hard pass. I do my grocery shopping at the dollar store, son. All you need is a cheap circular saw blade for wood or framing and a left-hand thread nut. Most string trimmers, this guy included, use an M10 by 1.25. You're going to have to go online for these most likely, so while you have the vast selection of the internet at your disposal, you may as well go nuts and splurge for the nylon locking nuts. You might find some sort of spacer to allow a 5 8 or 7 8 inch arbor blade, but as it happens, this Milwaukee fuel trimmer has a 1 inch thingy in the middle of the thingy, so you could use any blade with a 1 inch arbor. <laughs> I'm in danger! It's not an especially cheap weed whacker, so keep that overall blade diameter reasonable, or you'll burn out the motor or the gearbox, and you'll have no cutting power while you're doing it. Ow. Ow, that sound hurts. A direct fit blade of appropriate diameter was a little tricky to find. Most blades with a 3 8 arbor will fit right over the stud here. Unfortunately, most 3 8 arbor blades are these dinky little things. This one fits right over. But this Milwaukee 3 8 arbor doesn't fit at all. So it's a bit tricky. The beefiest blade I could find is this Ryobi from Home Depot. Five and a half inches. Part number A065101. Peels right off. Ow. Hot. Ow. Sharp. Hot and sharp. To remove the head, stick your tool into the hole here and turn the head until you find the G spot. Then unscrew it. But remember, it's reverse threaded. You want some sort of spacer first, because the end of the shaft is too skinny, and if you put the blade on first, it'll wobble and vibrate like crazy. I'm actually using a nitrile o-ring from my Harbor Freight assortment kit thing, so the blade can slip a little bit if it gets stopped by a foreign object, and it'll provide a small amount of flex, like a palm tree in a hurricane. Then apply your nut. Righty loosey, lefty tighty. Bonus application. This ought to keep the raccoons in check. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here, go back in the woods. California wants to ban AR-15s and gas-powered long equipment, so what are you supposed to do? Here's the perfect workaround. It works great for medieval joust-style deer hunting, too. Works great on bamboo. Check this out.
but I don't live in California, I live in America, so I'm going to swap this onto my Echo two-stroke and keep the Milwaukee for string trimming. I do that way more regularly, and this Milwaukee saves me so much of the good stuff. It's over $20 a gallon. Fortunately, the Echo is also M10 by 1.25 reverse thread, and if you don't want to buy a nut online, you can always just use an empty trimmer as your nut. Now I'm in danger, and I'm burning fossil fuels at the same time. Our founding fathers would be proud. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there.